Every big, bad, evil guy could use a throne, and today I'm going to show you how I made one to accommodate a standing mini. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Black Magic Craft. This episode, I want to touch on something that is a reasonably small build, but comes with a large complication, and that is thrones, or to a greater degree, chairs in general, when playing a game with standing minis on bases. My last session of running the Sunless Citadel, as you know, I used a battle map. I decided that for my next upcoming session, I wanted to surprise my players once again and get rid of the battle mat and bring it back to full 3D terrain. So I had to, over the last couple days, rush to build some things for the session. And when I got to rush to build things, that is the greatest time to improvise cool ideas for speed builds. This is a pretty straightforward build, but it's something I've avoided in the past just because of the weird situation that's created with seats and standing minis on bases. If you want to make a realistic chair or throne, it should have a seat, but then the mini doesn't place on it well. It looks weird when one's on it, but if you don't put a chair, it can look a little weird that it's like a standing throne. I said, screw it, I need to make something. I just sat down at the table, grabbed some scrap foam, and I just quickly started building. So let's take a look at how I built it. To begin, I just grabbed a scrap piece of foam and started marking a few key points on a miniature to use as reference. Then using those reference points and a carpenter square, I started drawing out the shape of the throne. And to be honest, there was a lot of just kind of hemming and hawing and eyeballing until I finally got a shape that I thought would be appropriate. And once I was happy with the shape, I just started cutting it out with my Ulfa knife. This is another good example of how you can do quite a bit with a simple blade. I did, however, use the Proxon to split this piece down thinner and break it into two separate sections. Throughout this build, I used a mini as a point of reference for figuring out how the heck this thing was going to work and what shape and size the base was going to end up being. I started to play around with different ideas for armrests to compensate for the fact that there was no actual seat, but this had its own set of challenges and I had to make sure they wouldn't hit a mini's weapons or arms. Eventually, I was happy with all my pieces and my dry fit so I could go ahead and start texturing all the individual pieces with tinfoil before assembling. I had a feeling that this build would end up a little bit too plain, so I decided to break out these orc skulls that I got from greenstuffworld.com. I thought that these would be a pretty cool way to embellish the piece and make it look a lot more like a big bad evil guy's throne. If you want to grab some for yourself, check the link in the description. I got another promo code for Green Stuff World where you can get a discount on your next purchase. Once the build was complete, I gave it a coating in my Black Magic Craft base coat, just the mix of Mod Podge and black paint to stiffen everything up. For paint, I'm using my regular cheap craft paint and I started with a very generic dark gray base coat. I followed that up with a dry brushing of a light gray to start bringing out some of those raised edges and highlights. And to really make the edges and little details pop, I did a light dry brushing with an off white. I wanted the skulls to look like they were actual skulls sitting on this thing and not stone carvings, so I painted them separately using this polished bone color from Reaper. And to achieve this aged bone look, I actually just used a Citadel wash because to be honest on these little tiny things, their washes are better than the stuff I make myself. However, for the overall bigger part of this piece, there's no way I'm using the expensive wash and the homemade stuff is definitely good enough. I decided I wanted to do some weathering on this piece to make it really look kind of grimy and dank and nasty. And I could have made a homemade wash for this part, but I was being lazy and again, broke out the Citadel washes because it wasn't a big area. Considering the amount of time that went into this build, I think it turned out pretty great. It's gonna look awesome on my table next session, and I think I can get a lot of longevity out of it. I'm sure I can use this again. 
There you go, guys, another speed build complete. I hope that you can take that as inspiration and that it maybe helps solve a problem for you when approaching things like chairs. It is by no means a perfect solution. There is a compromise in making it a standing throne, but I think it works pretty good and it's really practical. As usual, if you wanna pick up any of the tools or supplies that I use in my builds, head over to blackmagiccraft.ca. There you will find my essential equipment store where I recommend all my favorite stuff and you can click on the Amazon affiliate links and buy the cool things and then I get a small commission that helps fund these videos. The other way you can help fund these videos and ensure that they keep getting better is by supporting Black Magic Craft on Patreon. There you can become the next member of the Black Magic Craft Fellowship, my favorite little group on the internet. Of course, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, drop me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. And tell your friends. You got friends? They like RPGs? They like building stuff? Tell them about Black Magic Craft. And if you are not already a member of the Tabletop Crafters Guild on Facebook, I encourage you to click on the link in the description and join that group. It is by far the coolest, biggest, best community of tabletop terrain builders and crafters on Facebook. And it is just a wicked place to hang out. And until next week, guys, cheers, happy crafting, and keep building awesome stuff for your game.